Uh, in, the, in the early days, when I started Level 5, uh, you know, obviously I knew about Lamar, but it wasn't an immediate target on my radar to, hey, we're going to go to Lamar. Uh, after racing in the Rolex for a few years, and then when I got involved with the American Lamar series, and I had the opportunity to go race at Lamar uh, with Audi last year, um, it kind of pushed it up to the, the priority list. And fortunately, because of all of our success in the American Le Mans series, we were able to get an invitation to bring our team there, which is pretty hard to get. There's only 55 slots, and we're, this year we're the only American prototype team there uh, competing in, in, in all over the world. So we feel very fortunate that we were selected to come race there. And when that opportunity came up, uh, I decided that uh, you know, we, we were going to go for it. Last year, uh, we were able to understand the whole week, the, kind of the timing of things. Obviously, learning the track was huge because you don't get to test on this track because most of it's a public road during the year, and then they close it off and you race on it. Um, so I think mentally I'm much better prepared, not only for understanding the track, but understanding what it takes to race in this. This is an endurance race. Um, the real racing really begins hopefully at the 22nd or 23rd hour of the race. Uh, the rest of the time you just want to keep the car on the road, out of trouble, and it's grueling. Yeah, you know, it's by far the, the longest track that I've ever raced on. It's uh, almost nine miles. Um, you know, an average stent, you know, you only do about 10 laps, which is, uh, you know, it, it seems crazy, but 10 laps, you know, uh, it, that's, that's about what a stent is. It, uh, it was, you know, it was a great event. Um, the, 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 the racing part of it is obviously a big part of it, but there's so much other fanfare that goes along with it. You know, there's a whole week of, of interviews and, and people, and then there's a huge parade. Um, you know, the spectator list is, uh, I think, it's approaching 300,000 people. I mean, it would be the equivalent of it's actually larger than uh, the Indy 500 here in the States. So it's, uh, and you've got people from all over the world and manufacturers from all over the world. So it's truly a worldwide and global sports car event. There's not very many Americans that get to race there, first and foremost. So I feel very privileged that, you know, I'm among that group that has been able to compete at, you know, at that race. Um, you know, any time the American go somewhere and race against the best in the world and win, uh, I think it's an incredible achievement, not only for the person, but, you know, as an American. So um, I think it would be, you know, it'd be a fantastic result. Uh, it's a pretty tall order. You're racing against the best in the world. And uh, in a, you know, in order to achieve that, um, I mean, the, the, things just really got to go your way. So all you can do is prepare the best you can and uh, roll the dice and see where it goes.